right, now we move on to crossing guards, IGA, and MOU. I know this, is, uh, this issue has gotten some attention. Um, I have a call into the village manager. I think there was a question to see if they do get benefits or is it after a certain amount of hours. Uh, so I'm waiting to hear back on that. But approximately, approximately $4,000 a year um, for us to help cover the cost of the crossing guard on First Avenue and Forest. Um, I, I don't, I'm not sure why they wrote it the way they wrote it. Uh, this was reviewed by our attorneys at Franzic. Uh, we made a few minor changes just to make sure everything was uh, consistent, that we're only responsible for 33% uh, of any overtime or any uh, things of that nature. Um, the uh, I don't know why they're, they have in their memorandum if they're using the same one for all of us. Is that why it's and that's why it says maybe that it's going to be reimbursed to District 96. So the only the only thing that I think the board needs to decide on is whether or not they want to enter into uh, this agreement to cover uh, the service. Uh, you know, I put in there that it's gotten some attention in the press. Uh, I think it wor it shows that we're working together. Uh, I think Mr. Walsh asked a good question about some of the fees they charge us. Um, you know, we turn around and charge them basically the same fees when they use our pool and stuff. So we've talked uh, this past summer about trying to offset some of those costs. Uh, so hopefully we can begin to do that. Uh, ultimately, I think it's just up to the board to decide if they, it's something they want to start paying for that has previously been covered by the village. What's driving this other than the village trying to save costs? You know, my, my mic was at some of those safety meetings. I don't remember anything more specific than, hey, we're looking to try to share some of the cost of all the crossing guards <coughs> because they feel it's a service they're, help, they're providing to the schools. So that's all I pretty much remember. And the we the primary them. reason they're there is the grade school crossing to, right. to the uh, middle school from, the, from west of us to east of us and then back home to the west. And they also feel that, although our kids are pretty uh, savvy, that we do also get some benefit of crossing of our kids. Um, and they, they wanted to know if we wanted to participate in this. I think it was pretty simple like that. Yeah. It wasn't anything like, you know, you should or, you know, do you want to do it? And... Um, I don't know. Well, there's going to be this construction coming up. You know, it, I think we need to just look out for our students at the same time. Well, the, the point is they've been providing a crossing guard there and paying for it for decades, as far as I know. I've lived in Riverside for 26 years, and there's been one. So the only benefit this is, indivi this individual transaction is a fee that was being paid for by the Riverside is going to be paid for by our school now. So it's going to t we have to take it away from our funds so they either don't have to collect as much funds or can use it for something else. <coughs> and, you know, I didn't think about the pool, but we also give them the most discounted rate when they use our pool. We don't charge them what we charge the general public. And I, I cite, as I told you, they used to fingerprint for free. It was no additional cost for them to have our people go over and fingerprint. And they said, if we want to do it, they're going to charge us. So, you know, a mutual beneficialist said, you're right. You know, we could, you know what, the, we'll still fingerprint for you. We won't charge you. And then, you know, these are the kinds of things we want to do together. But, you know, the, the fueling was a good deal. We saved some money on gas. They get a, f a fee from us for doing it. So it was a mutually beneficial. But I just don't see, the, I just see this as a cost shift. And Mike, maybe you feel different. I mean, whether we participate or not, they have to provide safety at the corner, as you said. And there's some grammar school kids that cross over to Holler. There used to be. Maybe there aren't again now. Oh, I don't think if there were no grammar school kids crossing that intersection, I don't think there would be a crossing guard there. Right. You have kids crossing frames. That's what you have. That's why there used to be some kids that went from that side to Hollywood. Yeah. Everybody's got to go to Hauser for junior high, right? I meant yeah. so Hauser. The big, I wrong? I meant yeah, say, we so don't say Hauser. Excuse the me, biggest traffic is Hauser. Yeah, Hauser. 
Any other qu uh, comments? Does the timing when they're there overlap completely with when we would yes. need it? Yeah. Complete overlap. They're there in the morning and they're there after school. And I, and I well, Hauser starts a half hour after we start, Kevin. They're there in the morning for us, though. Uh, but uh, John's question was, in essence, are all the kids crossing? To, uh, Hauser starts about a half. They used to, they still start they around 8.30? Yeah. Yeah. You, you got a kid. Yeah, they, yeah, they do. So there's a half hour difference between when they're crossing really our kids and they're crossing the Hauser kids. When does the guard get here? It's on the agreement on the paragraphs. Yeah, but there are Hauser activities like band that start at 8 right. or something. Oh, okay. So. Our students benefit from the crossing guard. There's yeah. no doubt about it. I think that's true. And there's, our students do benefit from the safety. I mean, our primary crossway is a probably one of the most used roads in Illinois at 45 miles an hour with a ton of semis and 18 wheelers, which is why I think we haven't heard much on the First Avenue project. Uh, because they were doing that safety <coughs> study or audit and so we haven't received any results or anything back yet on that. Um, I guess my question is should we ask them to start earlier to make sure all our students are covered if we're paying this? We started 7.15. Yeah, well, 7.15. 7.15, okay, if they start then that's yeah, we're, we're, we haven't had any problems where there's no coverage or they're, they're good about being out there. And after school, like I said, I think I think you're very accurate in saying it's it's a cost shift. And they I will tell you right now, the first kid that gets hit on First Avenue, that four thousand dollars is going to look minuscule. Well, but who's saying they're not going to provide it if we don't pay for it? They, that nobody told us that, Kevin. I did not hear that. Who's doing the fingerprint for us? Huh? Village of Riverside. How much do they charge us? Uh, there's a state fee, and then there was a village fee that they were charging. But then we, we, we turned around and charged uh, that money back when they rented the pool, and so we were working through some of that. Just trying to see if we can. Yeah, so no, I think that one we're able to work through it. We can work through a little bit. Any other discussions on this? How strongly do you feel about it, Kevin? It's important to you if we agree to this. Well, I, 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 I mean, you're, you're our liaison with all the government agencies. Right. So. I, I think uh, you know we, we have some things coming up, and uh, we want to keep a good working relationship with all our municipalities. Uh, it's not a, it's not a significant dollar amount of our annual budget, and I think our students do benefit from it. But uh, is there a, the other concern I have is this going to open the floodgates? Yeah, Are they going to say, you know yeah. what, we send the policeman in front of here every day. <coughs> we want you to start paying an hour for a policeman and then have Brookfield do it in front of the other thing. Or, you know, what's the next cost shift they're going to do sure. to us? Or the other villages. You know, well, that was my, that was one of the concerns I did have was that, okay, so is there any crossing guards that we benefit from in Brookfield that might now, we might now have to start paying a percentage for? So, I mean, that's, that's the other concern, you know. I'm, are they feeling us out to see, you know, here's the, hey, they agreed to that. Now what can we shift over to the school districts? Well, there's always budget. no harm in asking, or at least usually. Yeah. You can always turn it down, too, and say no. Say that again. You can always turn it down, too. I, I, yeah. I mean, Matt, you raise a good point. I mean, that, that is a, a terrible intersection. I mean, and. It's, you got trucks, you got cars, you but, got, you know. But I still haven't heard a reason other than. Here, why don't you start paying? Well, I think the reason is that you got safety of our kids right there. Even yeah. though they're not gonna, you don't know if they're gonna pull it away or not. Well, the, the and, I, have and I also look back five years ago. This this administration wasn't talking to that administration. You know, it's it's one of those things that sure it is a cost shifter, and and they've asked if we would be willing to participate. That's the real question: Are we willing to participate? We've got some intergovernmental <coughs> agreements going on with some other things, and, and we're, and I agree, we're trying to be more communicative with them and, and, and work more hand in hand on issues. You know, we have the, the potential bike multiple use path going in, where we, we discussed that was a, a shared fee that the state is going to look for. To the village first for that and that's going to benefit our students what's district 96 going to do do we know 
Well, they rejected, I believe, in the, or, or they did not approve it or, they or took a vote on it. I think they discussed it no. in the first they didn't vote. That's my recollection of what I read. I, I will say, though, there's one provision in here that I don't agree with if we agree to it in principle, and that is they're going to endeavor to provide a substitute if they're not there. If, if the village wants us to agree to this, they need to put somebody there. And if the guard doesn't show up, let them have a policeman. In, or my experience is when a guard doesn't show up, they, they do, do put a police, a police but they I'd like it to say it in the agreement. Which number? It's paragraph uh, three. What page? The second paragraph. I think 156. I got I can't bring mine up. I mean, I will endeavor to retain or assign a replacement school cross. That's almost like we're buying an insurance policy if we put that clause in there. But they're always going to be there, someone there, no matter what. We want to guarantee kids. someone will be yes. there. Yeah. That would guarantee it. Yeah. We're going to pay for it. put it in. If you, the language, the way I proposed it, would require them to do that, Kevin, if you see it there. All right, so if we make that, have them make that change, then so we're. Well, we got to get them to agree to that change. If they don't agree to that change, I'll tell them that right now we're not going to approve it. Is that Good. fair for the board to understand? Am I, am I yeah. summarizing the board there? Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to see that we're guaranteed a crossing guard, not that there'll be a possibility of not having a crossing guard or a police officer. They, they kind of list A, B, or C. Right. So if we I think a, the B, last one is if no replacing guard is available, the village shall notify the applicant. We, but we don't want that. No, we basically right. want that whole last sentence struck. And the word endeavor. Yeah, Kevin. You want to be out there. And I think. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is a nice uniform. <laughs> but, I, but, I, but I think over the, in the hierarchy, the grade school kids need to be covered first. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're getting the benefit, but I think, <coughs> I think the primary is, is for the younger kids. And, and maybe that's. We're, we're doing what you're suggesting to ensure the younger kids, you know, are covered as well because, sure. you know, our kids are going to play Frogger if no one's there. I mean, if we put a, you know, that's one of the reasons why the state doesn't want to put a median in the middle because how quick can I get to the median, right. Right. check my cell phone, crap. and then step into jump, step into traffic, no. you know. and. I think it's a good idea because this construction is going to last quite a bit. You know, they're going to dig up one month and come back in a month and do something else, and and so we're going to. I think we should, you know, make sure that we're covered at that intersection, not only for our kids but for the younger kids, since I don't really know what the District 96 is doing to ensure that, you know. So does the board feel that if we made that change and they approved it that? We would vote in the affirmative of it, or I'm well, assuming that might take some time yeah. because they already approved this one and sent an approved agreement to. Uh, uh, to I'm us. listening to what Mike and Kevin are saying. Yeah. Mike, Mike can. See, I agree. There's a benefit to it. Maybe we've had a benefit we should have shared for many years and we haven't. My my overriding concern is all what we're seeing a lot is different taxing bodies trying to shift their cost onto partner. You know, we pay for things for uh, police and the fire department for our football games at Brookfield, you know. Again, what else would they be doing that evening? Don't they have to provide the safety? And the concern is how far is it going to go? We have our budget. We have to work on it. And we just want to make sure we send the message that, you know, we don't expect this to be the start of a new trend or something here. But you yeah, know, I can go and along I agree with, your, with that point. If I, I, I could go along with your recommendation, and Matt, I even go along with if other people, if we want to vote on it, to say we'd approve it with only we'll approve it tentatively if they agree to change the language, so they have to provide somebody, and then we wouldn't Let's have to vote too. on it again. At least we're sending a message over where we want to work. Or we, you know what I mean. And for how long is it again? Yeah, just just one question. So if we're out there and we see that there's no guard there, are we obligated then to put one of our people out there? We no. have not. No. no. So we, we're going to know there's an unsafe environment out there and we're call, not obligated to. Call the police. Do. Call the police. Yeah, like he said, call the police. That would force, yeah, right. The yeah. Police, well, then we are obligated said. to do some action. 
Well, you want to write this in well, such a way that it's their obligation. Their to obligation cover. to tell us if they're not right. there too is the way it is written now. They've got. A, we, we want it written so there is an obligation that the village will provide somebody no matter yeah. what. Right. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't think we should tentatively approve it until we we see where they, how they feel about that change. That's right. Right. Okay. I think we're 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 taking a step forward to show we want to work we'll work with them. There's a there's a benefit to our district by having it. We'll share some costs, but we want to guarantee if we you know we don't get in the contracts that don't guarantee <coughs> us our services. Right. That's a good point. But I think that everybody agree with it. I think that's do that. Now. All right. So, so Marion, we'll just keep this going on until I haven't, like Tim said, I haven't heard they're going to cancel the crossing guard for the rest of the year. So if it takes us this semester to work through this with them, well, this doesn't start until next year. Next right. year, right? And then for how long is it? It's an annual thing. You got to get nine months notice. So it's really nine a two-year deal. <laughs> so three months. All right. So Marion, just make sure we keep on rotating that in. The and we're rotation. estimating it's four thousand. It might be a little lower than four. So I want a little high on the like estimation. A little bit high. Okay. And we can, when we meet with the village on other issues, we can say our concern is the cost shifting is going to keep coming. That'd be a 